Hey guys, um, so yeah, I'm here to review another deck. Um, last one I did was the Infinity deck. Uh, again, you know, leave your comments at the bottom. Tell me what you think. You know, how does it feel in your hands? You know, just some good back and forth. Everyone's got different preferences. Well, the next deck I'm actually going to be reviewing today is Illusionists a Limited deck. Uh, really cool. Um, I, I love the box. The box is just really nice. It's very simple. Um, and I, I like how it says this is Illusionist Playing Card Company, where, you know, other decks, you know, it's obviously the United States Playing Card Company are making them. So I, 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 I liked that. I, I like that this is Illusionist making it in-house. It's theirs. It's great. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this deck. It's red. It's a great color. I mean, the, 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 the box itself is nice. Uh, nice little details, like here. And then when you actually open it up, it actually has writing on the inside. That's that's nice, nice little touch. And even, you know, the inside of here, the red has some nice little scroll work pattern going on in here. So I like that. It's, it's nice. It's a well thought out concept there. Um, so yeah, the first thing that blew me away about this is the actual back of the cards. It's probably gonna be messing with my camera really bad, but I don't know if this is in focus, but you have diamonds and you, have some kind of partial clubs. Uh, so it's really nice. Um, sure it's messing with my camera's brain so much right now, but really, really nice. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, um, I unfortunately have to say I'm not a thousand percent thrilled on this, or really even a hundred percent thrilled. I know that's probably uh, killing some people that I'm saying it, because this is a limited deck and it's really nice. But um, when you actually look at the, uh, the way that, yes, and they're new, I don't really use these because they are limited, in fact. Um, the, the kings and the, you know, and the, for example, the, uh, the seven, I'll just grab a random one. Uh, they look the same as they would on any other normal deck, except for the black is, is going to be faded, which that's nice, but I don't know, that might just be a pre personal preference of mine. I, I'd like to see something, if it is a really limited deck, let's see something different other than, you know, the really nice, you know, backing, you know, something where, like with the Infinity deck, that's a really great artistic deck, you know, um, I, I would like to see something like that from Illusionist with this limited uh, edition deck, you know, if it is a limited edition, well, let's get something more bang for the buck almost, because you have to spend at least like $150 to get these decks, so, you know, they don't, they don't come cheap, obviously, um, but uh, that, that's the one big complaint that I have about that. But uh, the, the Jokers are nice. I like the Jokers. And something that, I guess, getting spoiled... Sorry, just trying to grab them all out. Getting spoiled with, the, with say, the Infinity deck or the Arcane or the uh, Artifice, Black Tiger, Ghost, you know, all these other decks. I'm used to the Jokers having something going on, like a reveal built in, because that's nice. Um, these are identical, which no problem there. It's like the Masters in that regard, but it's a nice Joker. I like it. Um, it's very nice, very sleek, and I just wish that this creativity kind of continued on a little bit more into the actual face of the cards, because um, obviously the creativity is there on the back. No question, I like it. Um, but there's no built-in reveal. That's just something to point out. Um, and another thing, which y'all probably already have figured I'm going to mention, is something about the black light sensitivity. These are not black light sensitive either. Um, at least, um, I mean, not when I'm putting a black light right on it, I don't see anything. And you're not gonna be able to do that in a club setting at all. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. You know, I, I, you know, I like the back. It's definitely a beautiful, you know, beautiful, you know, pattern. It's great, very clean cut. Uh, I think that's the best strength of it, is that it is so clean cut uh, that it doesn't look that threatening if you are going to use this in a performance, uh, whereas something like the Infinity Deck or the Black Tiger, that would might raise a lot of flags because it looks a lot different. This doesn't. Uh, so that's, that's a, that is a positive for it not being very artistic or... Uh, I don't want to say artistic because I, I do want to point out that it is a, an artistic from the box, from this, you know, it is a more minimalist style, I think, if you can gather that from, it's basically just a color all the way around. Um, 
some people like that. Um, I think for certain you know circumstances, you're going to want that more than you do a flash eater deck. Uh, but uh, again, that's my take on it. You know, please reply, send uh, your comments at the bottom of this. But yes, that is my review for the limited deck from Illusionist.